Hello and welcome to this second video to accompany the AMSP Further Maths Conference Student Use of Technology for Study and Matrices session. In this second video we're going to look at how you can use a scientific or graphical calculator to explore determinants and inverse matrices. Before we do that we'll quickly run through how to find determinants and inverse matrices on both a scientific and a graphical calculator. So in the first example I want to look at how you find determinants and inverse matrix on a scientific. I'm going to use a Casio 991EX class whiz. So here's the 991EX class whiz. So first thing I'm going to do is go into matrix mode which you'll see is mode 4. I get the option to define a matrix straight away in there. If you don't get that you press option 1 to get this define matrix menu and number one I can define matrix A it's going to be two rows two columns and then I would enter the values here you can see I've previously entered the values in now I can calculate the determinant and the inverse so if I press AC option scroll down and select determinant and then option again and three to add matrix A close brackets, there's the determinant. Similarly, option, select matrix A with number three, and then do X to the power negative one to get the inverse, that will give me the inverse matrix. So that's the determinant and inverse on a scientific calculator. Looking at the determinant and inverse on a graphical calculator, I'll use a Casio CG50 as an example of a graphical calculator. So I can go into run matrix mode. I'm then going to calculate the determinant just in, in one line of calculation. So first thing to do is option and the matrices vectors menu, F2, number three, F3 is the determinant. Press exit twice to get me back up to the top. And then I can enter a matrix di directly by choosing math on F4 and the matrix vector on F1. And I want the two by two, and then I can enter these values one, negative one, three, five. There's the determinant. Similarly, I can put in a two by two matrix one, negative one, three, five, and calculate its inverse. Shift x to negative one. So that's determinant and inverse on a scientific and graphical calculator. The task then, the task has been written to be performed on a graphical calculator and you'll find it on the MEI website, mei.org.uk forward slash Casio tasks. And here's an example of what the task looks like. This task can be done equally well on a scientific calculator. The instructions at the top are for how to use the graphical, but if students know how to use the scientific, they can still access this task. So then there's some questions for discussion. What's the relationship between a matrix determinant and the inverse? What happens when a matrix is multiplied by its inverse? And are there any matrices that don't have, have an inverse? The responses you'd expect from these would depend on when you set the task. If you do it early on in the study, the, the responses from the students might be quite different to if you use this as a consolidation task. So they, the tasks are meant to be quite flexible in terms of how you use them, but it would change your expectations in terms of what you would get back from students for the questions for the discussion. There's then an opportunity for students to try a problem without the calculator. So the idea is that they try and consolidate their learning, what they observe by using the technology, by putting the technology down and trying a question like this one in inverse of some matrices in the inverse of the product and then at the end there are a couple of extension tasks if you have a look at the tasks online there's a full set of tasks there for various different topics in further maths and towards the end of the set of tasks you will also find some teachers notes that accompany them 